of a good workout. This one over here also loves a good workout, too. I also love a quick change. You notice two minutes in the commercial two, break. Two. I did you all. did it. You did it. Hey, we have fitness expert Monica Isles here to show us some moves. We're talking booty. We got to get those glutes toned up. You got to tone up that bump. All right, Monica, where are we going to start? We're going to start with some stationary lunges first. Okay. You're going to put one foot in the front, one foot in the back. Keep your weight through your heel. Make sure your feet are wide enough so when you bend down, you want to be able to see your toes. Okay. Keep your chest up. Oh, yeah. Number I did 15. lunges this morning. <laughs> and Monica, Do these. our legs should be straight from yes. the knee down to the heel, yes. right? So whenever you're bending down, you should be able to see your toes in the front of you. Keep your weight through your heel. So what is this working on the booty? So I like to work the glute tie-in area, which is right underneath. So if you put your so. hand right here. So the hamstring up yes, to right the... Right here. Mm -hmm. Push all the way through. I'm a big fan of these. I make all my clients do them. So you're going to do 15 on each leg, and then we're going to switch. So is booty harder to tone than other areas, and is it harder for women than men to tone it? I think it is because people forget about it. You want to isolate it, and you can also train it twice a week. You can work it in the other workouts. You can do it with your leg workout or just throw it into something else. So I'm go for two booty days. Can I, I ask a simple question? Like, what actually makes a good booty? Because this is totally uh, I like shape. Turn it around <laughs> to the side. This is what makes a good booty. This right here. So you like round and lifted like cantaloupes? Shape. Round and tight. Not necessarily the size, the shape of it. She's like melon. Because like I don't have a big one, but it's round. <laughs> She's got that one. definition between the leg and the and the rear. Okay. <laughs> then you can to incorporate the some stationary, some re reverse stationary lunges. Same leg, don't don't switch them. <laughs> oh, okay, Same thing, chest up. Keep the abs nice and tight. Keep your weight through your heel. Good. Good job, raise client. <laughs> Okay. okay, what about some donkey kicks? So, when I'm you intrigued. do your donkey kicks, we're gonna get down on all fours. I want you to keep your abs in. Don't let your back sink in, keep your chest up. And we're gonna push through your heel. Just and straight up. You, yeah, you want your heel to aim towards the ceiling. And I'm noticing that you have on the ankle weights. So yeah. you wanna take it up a notch? This is just to make it more advanced. These are two and a half pounds each. They go all the way up to 10 pounds. And same thing, we're gonna do 15 reps. See, I also call these like the Jane Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> but you can really feel these. I can really so, feel these. On the same leg, if you want to make this exercise harder, point your toe out and let's go straight up. Same leg, 15. Ooh. 15? Uh, yes. Love it. <laughs> uh, I can really feel that. So on the same side, go right back down to the donkey kick, do them 15 times. <laughs> no, 15 times. How many reps do you do of these? Oh, so that's 30 already. So that's still one set. We're going to do four sets all on the same leg and then switch it out. You want to be really careful that you're not like, like. Yeah, like, so you don't want to arch. You want to look like a cat. <laughs> all right, let's move on to deadlifts. Deadlifts. Okay, so deadlifts. The traditional way to do deadlifts, some people like them stiff leg. I like them shoulders width apart. The knees slightly bent. Keep your chest up. Look straight ahead. Keep your hands close to your knees. Bend all the way over. Over exaggerate, oh. sticking your butt out. Keep your knees slightly bent. Come all the way up, just like this. And do people do this with a bar, with yes. weights? How much weight should they use? Um, depends on how loose your hamstrings are and if you don't have any back issues. So typically, I'll start a client out with maybe 30 to 40 pounds. But if you're an advanced person, you can go all the way up between 50 to 100 pounds. So should we Whoa. modify like the feet placement at all? Turning you the can. toes out or do doing anything? Turn the toes out. To hit is, more of your glute tie-in. What does that do? So it's gonna hit more of this area right here, right through here. See, it's that it's that area that the women want, that mm -hmm. definition between so the butt and the leg. So one part's gonna go this way, and now we're gonna hit here. Okay. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna turn your toes out. We're gonna bend from the waist area. Keep your chest up. So don't don't bend. As far as you can go without bending. And, and I will say, out. even without weights, I'm already feeling this. You know, in, those shoulders into the hamstrings too. Keep those shoulders back, your chest up, and your abs nice and tight, and just bend over. All right, Monica, and everybody's favorite. <laughs> what? So <laughs> squat. Same thing. You can do them. Pretend we have a bar in our back. Keep your chest up. Keep your weight through your heels. You're gonna go all the way down as far as you can go, and then come all the way back up. And so, how much? How much weight again for something like this? Thing. It, it all depends on what your level of fitness is. Some people may start with, I've had people start with 20 pounds and do 30 reps. But never, if it hurts, that's when you should exactly. stop. Exactly. Okay. So in this squat, should you see your toes the whole time? Yes. You don't want to squat to where you're bending bending over. If you can't go all the way down, that's perfectly fine. You can stop at 90 degrees. Now, if you want to make it harder to accentuate your butt more, turn the toes out. Turn the toes now out. Now you got a plie squat. 
Monica, this has right. been so much fun, <laughs> but unfortunately, we are out of time. Guys, to tone and tighten your way to a better booty, check out this segment online at HoustonLife.tv. Yeah,